One aspect of what we work on has to do with targeting nanoparticles to sites of disease. And this is interesting from the perspective of locally delivering therapeutics and also from the perspective of diagnosing tumors in a way that physicians otherwise wouldn't be able to. And the approaches to date have predominantly focused on thinking about how nanoparticles look at an individual scale and modifying their surface, their shape, and their expression of specific chemicals. The, the distinction in our approach is essentially to try to take a systems view at what those particles are actually doing and specifically to design mechanisms through which individual particles can communicate with one another so that when one performs this really complex, arduous task of intravenously homing to a tumor, it can communicate that successful event to particles that are still in circulation and don't yet know where the tumor is, is in the body. So part of our inspiration to synthesize nanoparticles that can communicate with one another was to look at the way that systems in nature are able to mediate processes of sensing and repair of injuries and sites of disease. And a great example of a system scale approach to targeting sites of disease is the way that blood coagulation works. What's essential to this process is that entities that sense areas of infection or, or in this case injury not only bind to that area but also recruit the binding of other uh, cells or proteins uh, still in circulation. And we're trying to emulate that on the scale of synthetic particles such that when one particle gets to the site of disease it can communicate that event to expedite the subsequent arrival of other synthetic nanoparticles. The specific means by which we've implemented this is to have an initial population of particles target the tumor that's very non-toxic, but which can be externally actuated with benign near-infrared energy. They absorb that energy, they locally convert that energy into heat. What heating does is it actually affects the blood vessel and injures it. Injury then induces a biological repair process through blood coagulation. And blood coagulation then produces this abundant network for a secondary population that's loaded with therapeutics to bind to. So the information that's transmitted between these two particles is essentially, I found the tumor and here it is. But it actually undergoes a very complex transformation from something physical in the form of heat to something biological in the form of this repair process of the, of the vessel. But what we're doing is harnessing all, those, all the complexity that evolution has produced to robustly repair means of injury by establishing this, this biological network that repairs that vessel.